Do you work on a cruise ship? These are the videos for you. Whether it's your first contract or you have 10 plus years experience, you always want to know the same thing. Where's the Wi-Fi? Also, supermarkets and shops to get those much needed supplies. And maybe if you've got some spare time, what's there to do in the port? So, here's today's destination. So today we're in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, Canada. First off, you may have to start with a short tender ride depending how many ships are in that day. But once you're in, there is a quaint little oceanside town. You'll first walk through the terminal where there are market stalls, but they're mainly souvenirs and trinkets. Once through the terminal, however, you have a few options. If you head left from the terminal building, it will bring you down to a section where there are a few more souvenir shops, along with a cow's ice cream parlor and some places to get your hands on some food. Heading up the hill from there brings you to Water Street, where there is a great fish and chip shop, which also doubles as a Chinese and a pub. If you head in there, not only will you find some nice food at decent prices, but they also have great Wi-Fi. If you wanted to find good and free Wi-Fi, however, I would suggest heading right to the end of Water Street and going further up the hill to a small confederation court mall. They have loads of seating upstairs and free, relatively decent speed Wi-Fi throughout the mall. There is also a shopper's drug mart if you need to get supplies. They do most snacks, toiletries and medicine. If none of this is for you, then the main high street which you walked up to get to the mall, there is also a Starbucks and many other restaurants to grab a bite. On the way back down the high street, there is also a shop called Liquid Gold, which sells all different infused oils and vinegars. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss an upcoming video. We have a few others in places in Canada, including Quebec City, and then we'll be getting into some ports in the Caribbean. So, if you think we've missed anything out in these videos, don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.